Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm working on making peach jelly. I have a whole bunch of peaches here that are starting to get really soft and I don't really like to can the softer ones. They just kind of get mushy in the jars. So I like to make um, jams or jellies out of the more riper fruit. So what I'm doing now is I have about 10 pounds of peaches here because I'm doubling the recipe and I'm using sure gel in order to make this but I'm taking the pits out of the peaches. I'm just leaving the skins on though. I'm just going to finally chop these up in little pieces and put them in my big um, stock pan and then we're going to cook it. So I'm going to show you how I do this. It's a really easy recipe. So I don't take the skins off or anything. I'm just taking, I've washed these peaches all up and then I just either take my fingers and pop out that the pit or I usually use a spoon. This one here kind of has a, a bruise, so I'm going to cut that out. You only want to work with really um, ripe fruit, but not real overripe fruit or damaged fruit. Alright, to this I've added one and three-fourths cup of water per, um, per batch, so I doubled that. And then I also need a fourth a cup of fresh lemon juice, and I don't have fresh lemon juice, I only have this bottle, but it will do. I've used it before, and so I need to double that and make it a half cup. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. This is, has to simmer for 10 minutes with the cover on. and uh, So I'm going to bring this over to the stove. Over here you can see that I've already canned 21 quarts of peaches. Uh, some, of them I, some of them I left the skins on and some of them I um, peeled. Um, and some of them I added a light sugar syrup to it and some of them I didn't add any sugar. So that's something that new that I'm trying this year. A couple years ago I canned some pears without sugar and the kids um, liked those so I thought I would try making some peaches without sugar this time and seeing how well they like them as well. So, Alright, over to the stove here. The peaches are now at a rapid boil so I'm going to turn the heat down just to a simmer. I'm going to cover them and set my timer for about 10 minutes and come back and show you the next step. The peaches have simmered for 10 minutes on the stove and now I'm going to run them through my food strainer. Um, I usually use this for tomatoes but I think it's going to work for this. Um, we'll give it a try. Otherwise, what they recommend is putting it through like cheesecloth and letting the juices just drain from it. So I'm going to do it this way. This could be a messy. This could be very messy. You need a footstool. Alright, I'm gonna jump up on my stool because my counter up here is really high, so it's harder for me. Hot! Here's the six and a half cups that I need and I'm going to put this in a saucepan. 
All right, I have this on high as I'm going to get this, bring this up to a boil. And I'm gonna add my Sure Gel to this. And I have two packets because uh, I doubled the recipe. So just stir that in. Now I'm going to bring this up to like a rolling boil. I also have my canner going. It's um, heating up, so getting things ready. All right, while I wait for this to boil, I'm stirring it all the time too, by the way. Um, I'm going to prepare everything because once this goes, it goes pretty quickly. So I'm going to bring my jars over that have been sterilized. And I have my lids in some warm water. Okay, I am at a rolling boil at this point, so I'm going to add the sugar. I have my sugar already pre-measured. I needed 10 cups because I... Um, I doubled it. And you want to make sure this is an exact amount also because you want your jelly to set. I'm going to stir this in and we want it to come up to a boil again. And since I'm making a jelly, I want it to boil for two minutes. Okay, we're at a boil, so I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. And hope. Whoa, that was close. And hope it didn't run over. Wow, I'm sorry, so I need a different. I need to grab a different one of these. Okay, be sure not to let it run over. I'm going to continually stir this. And there's going to be foam on the top, so you just skim that off before putting it in your jars. Okay, the timer is up. And I am going to skim off this foam. Just use a metal spoon for this. Now we're gonna start filling our jars. And I put this, both of these through the dishwasher so everything is sanitized. I better move my phone. This out of the way. I like to have everything kind of close. That way, if I spill, I kind of spill on this towel. Okay, now we're ready to fill these jars. I would leave like a half inch headspace. Try not to drip any on the, on the rims. <laughs> this makes it a little cleaner, easier to clean up. Okay, it's time to, to clean the rims off. I dip my napkin in hot water. This is pretty important, especially um, with jellies and anything sticky. You don't want anything sticky on the outside. That would hinder the lid from sealing. Okay, now I'm gonna put the lids on them. All right, my water bath canner is boiling. It's ready to go. this in. Make sure there's a, like an inch of water covering your jars. And I'm gonna, once this gets up to a rolling boil, then we're gonna process it for 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna take these out. See what they look like. Oh, wow. They're all sealing. 
All right, now we're gonna let these set for 24 hours without disturbing them so that they can set up. 